Welcome to this year's Madden 16 Seattle Seahawks Franchise Mode. Here we are going against the St. Louis Rams in Week 1 in Rams Dome. Nick Foles is the quarterback for the Rams, someone that is more than likely not going to be injured as much as Sam Bradford. And as always, Russell Wilson, the man with a huge deal in real life, but not yet in this game, will be coming into this one to have another great season and hopefully another great game. We come into this game coming off a huge loss in Arizona against the New England Patriots in Super Bowl 49. A devastating loss that was. Here is Nick Foles showing a few of the highlights as we, when he was with the Eagles. He is now with the Rams. So the first play from line of scrimmage, a first and ten. Foles hanging off to Trey Mason. Mason will get the ball. He will pick up three. They move to their own 28. Second and seven now. Full start back to pass. Almost intercepted by Cam Chancellor. He cannot quite pick up the interception, but it was very, very close. A third and seven now on their own 28. The third play from line of scrimmage. Third and seven. Drop back to pass. Foles. He finds Bailey. Bailey cannot hang on to the pass as Wagner got over there quick to mess up that one. Here comes Russell Wilson, hoping to come off that loss in the Super Bowl to have a tremendous season and show people what he is made of. A first and 10 on our own 20. The first play from the Seahawks in the office is a handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Something they should have done in the last play of the Super Bowl. Anyways, we pick up nine yards. Second and one. Or excuse me, first and ten on our own. 31. Wilson going to be playing, running the play action. He's going to be sacked quickly by Chris Long. He will pick up the first sack of his season. Second and 17 on our own. 24. Another play action. He's going to be sacked once more. Wilson is sacked by Robert Quinn this time. And back-to-back -back sacks, play action isn't working too well, but we're going to it again for a third consecutive time. Third and 22, play action, Wilson, drops off the pass. He lobs it to Jermaine Curse. Curse, pick it up, the reception, no he cannot. And the Seahawks will go a quick one. Here come the Rams, first and 10 on their own, 42, heading off to Stacy. Stacy is going to not pick up a first down, but he will, excuse me, that was Gurley. My bad, Stacy's not even on the team, I thought so, but my bad. Anyways, second and four on their own, 48. Rams running to play action. Foles dropping back to pass. He throws over to his left. He is going to pick up the reception. Jared Cook is the one with the reception on that one. And the Rams are in business. They move to our 31. First and 10. Foles hanging off to Mason. Mason will not pick up a first down. He will lose three on the play. Good tackle by Cliff Averill. Second and 12. They're on our 34. Hanging off to Trey Mason. Mason is not going to pick up the first down, but he does pick up eight. A great run after the first one wasn't so great. Third and five. They're on our 26. Foles getting ready to hike the ball here. Drop back to pass. He's looking around to find somebody. He doesn't see anyone, but he does find Bailey. This time he will hold on to the ball, and he will pick up the reception and the touchdown. The St. Louis Rams get on the board first in this one with the first touchdown of their season. And the Seahawks rarely give up touchdowns especially the first one going to the opposing team. And now we will have to come back from this quick deficit. And obviously the newest point after attempt is at the 30, well, 15 yard line, a 33 yarder, no, 32 yarder. Anyways, we get the ball now and we are heading out to Marshawn Lynch. He picks up a good chunk of yards. A first and 10 are on own 41. Play action, Wilson. He's going to lob it this time to curse. This time he will catch it. He, we will move to their 41, the first completion by Russell Wilson today. Second and nine. We're on their 41. Wilson drops back to pass. He's looking around. He's going to throw it right into Gaines' hands. We were trying to get it to Chris Matthews. I don't know what I was thinking there. Matthews had Gaines was in front of him for three solid seconds, just about, and I just decided to th throw it over there. I didn't see much of anybody else. I wanted to get him the ball, as you can see. Just what am I thinking? What am I thinking on that play? Anyways... The Rams will get the ball a huge turnover on us as now we will even have to come out, come out and try to stop them on defense. They, were handing it off, they are handing off to Trey Mason. He's getting off a few blockers or, excuse me, tackles, but he will not pick up much with it. He will lose a yard. On their own 36, Foles drops back to pass. Drops back to pass. He finds Jared Cook once more. Cook has another nice game. They move to our 43. Hanging off to Mason once more. Mason, he's going to take it. What is going on with our uh, our defense? We cannot make any tackles today. And that was a good demonstration of our tackling so far today. A third and two. They're on our 35. Foles throwing over to his left just in front of Jeremy Lane. They pick up the first down, and they will move 
to our 32. Foles handing off Trey Mason. Trey Mason gets the ball. He's going to get rocked by KJ Wright. He slams Mason, and all of a sudden, the Seahawks get the ball right back. A huge turnover for the Rams. It would have been a huge momentum builder for the Rams if they would have succeeded on that drive. With that being said, we will get the ball, and it is our turn to get back on offense and hopefully score a touchdown on this drive. Sherman with the fumble recovery, and KJ Wright with a huge hit. First and 10, on our own 30. Wilson drop back to pass. He's going to roll out to his right. He's running, and he's going to take it himself. Running mechanics in this game are very different. It's a way slower-paced game than last year's version of Madden 15, if you are interested in knowing that. Anyways, we're throwing it to Doug Baldwin. Doug Baldwin is going to receive it. He is going to go the distance all the way into the end zone. As I was fumbling with words, not necessarily fumbling with words, but I wasn't paying attention, that's for sure. Anyways, Doug Baldwin will take it all the way into the end zone for a touchdown, and the Seahawks will get right back into this one after a huge momentum builder right there. The fumble ends up turning into points for us. They cannot convert on the interception, but we'll take it. The Seahawks will tie this thing up. Doug Baldwin with his first touchdown reception of the year, and Russell Wilson's first touchdown thrown. First and 10 on their own 17, the ensuing drive. Foles changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Foles drops back to pass. He finds Britt. Kenny Britt is going to get gang tackled right there. First and 10 on their own 28, handing off to Mason this time. Mason is just going to have Sherman run. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing there. I'm getting adjusted to this new style of play with Madden 16. Regardless, second and five, they're on our 46. Mason is going to be tackled by Michael Bennett. And Bennett will end up tackling him, and they will pick up six yards. They're on our 38 now. Foles, change of the plate, line of scrimmage. He's going to drop back to pass. He's looking around. He's going to find Cook. Cook this time once more will pick up a first down, and he's going to get off like four to five defenders, and he will take it the distance into the end zone. Jared Cook, where did that come from? And what is up with this tackling? Today, the tackling has been absolutely terrible. We look at this replay. Not only does he get off four defenders, but, I mean, look at this. Three men are on him. Chancer just runs straight through him. I don't even know what happened there. That was a bit of a glitch, if you ask me. But regardless, Jared Cook gets into the end zone, and the Seahawks are once more down again. 7-14 to 14 games, second and 10. Wilson drops back to pass. He finds Jimmy Graham, his first reception of the year. Jimmy Graham gives Russell Wilson 10,000 passing yards in his career. First and 10 on our own 33. Wilson drops back to pass. He's looking right. He's going to find Chris Matthews. He will not be able to make the reception. His second, He is targeted for his second time today. Another play action. Wilson drops back to pass. He's trying to find somebody. He's not going to find anybody but the turf as Chris Long comes up with his second sack of the day. And we will end up punting the ball away. It is now a first and 10. Rams are on R45. Foles drops back to pass. He's looking around. He's going to throw it to his right. Find Mason. He's going to get absolutely rocked by Cam Chancellor. Come back to camp, please, Cam. Anyways, third and five. They're on R41. Foles dropping back to pass. He's looking around. He is going to find Kenny Britt, who will be tackled by Bobby Wagner, Bruce Irvin, and Richard Sherman. Second and four. They're on R18. Foles handing off to Mason, or excuse me, Todd Gurley. Gurley is going to take it himself, take it and get a nice amount of yards on that one. They move to R6, a second and goal. Foles handing off to Mason. Mason is going to try and get into the end zone. A huge stop by the Seahawks defense. If nobody gets there, it's an easy touchdown. Third and goal. Mason is going to be stuffed once more, and the Seahawks hold up and will only allow three points. A third and five, on, we're on our own 37, finding Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham is second reception, and it is going to be unnecessary roughness at the end of it. And we move to their 34, a first and 10, a minute 27 remaining in this first half. Wilson is getting ready, dropping back to pass. He's looking around. He is going to throw it to Marshawn Lynch, who is getting it off one defender. He's going to try to get off a few more, but he will not do successfully. But he does pick up 14 on the play. We move to their 18, 105 remaining finding nobody but Jenkins Janoris Jenkins will intercept the ball and the Seahawks oh boy what just happened there as we just once more give up a possession which is not good for our confidence if we want to win this game we're already deep down in the hole by two possessions that is not going to help us by any means as Janoris Jenkins is the one intercepting that one jumping the route a tremendous play at cornerback from him a first and 10 on their own 28. Foles coming out on the new drive. 
45 seconds remaining in the second quarter and first half. Foles, he's going to throw it way too far ahead to K.J. Wright, who will intercept the ball as the wide receiver tried to dive for it, but he did not do so successfully. And K.J. Wright is having a great game for him so far today. He has an interception, and he has a fumble. So an amazing job by K.J. Wright. I don't know what I did here. I really wish Madden would not have it be so weird. I think you guys will understand when you do pick up your copy when you get an interception. Anyways, somehow, some way, Lynch is going to receive this pass after an amazing throw by Russell Wilson. Don't know how he did that on all Madden. But regardless, we move to a fourth and goal, and we are going to go for it. We're on their one. Hanging off to Marshawn Lynch. You know he can get in, and he will. The Seahawks strike back once more. They're not tied up, but they make it a one-possession game and only a field goal away from tying it up as the Seahawks will end the first half on a high note, and they will indeed receive the ball in the second half. It is 14-17. Rams are in the lead by three points. As we finish this first half, we'd like to change a few things. Stop the turnovers. Two interceptions is not going to win a game for us, but regardless, you can see the stats there. They're dominating in every category, except we have equal takeaways. We'd like to get a little bit more rushing and passing. Anyways, here is the kickoff. We're... Tyler Lockett, almost said Ricardo. Tyler Lockett will be receiving the punt. It's very slow. I don't know what is going on here. It looked really slow to me. But Tyler Lockett is injured on the play, and he will get an abdominal tear, and he will be out for three weeks. We'll see him back in week four or week five, one or the other. Anyways, it's thrown to Chris Matthews, a lob. Somehow, someway, Chris Matthews is able to pick up the reception, and he will go the distance for a touchdown. The Seahawks come out huge on this second half, regardless of the injury, we all of a sudden are looking good, and we have a huge momentum builder right there, as I did not even mean to throw this pass. When I threw this pass, it was so incidental, it wasn't even funny. I don't know who I was trying to throw it to, but I accidentally hit the wrong button, but it actually wasn't an accident, obviously, because it turned out into an amazing touchdown by Chris Matthews. Tremendous job by our offense, one play, one touchdown. On their own 26, Foles is going to hand it off to Mason. Mason will not pick up a first down. He will not pick up anything. We move to a third and two on their own 34. Foles handing hand it off to Gurley. Gurley will pick up a first down. A good job by Gurley so far. He's having a decent game in his first rookie season, his first game. Third and eight on their own 38. Foles dropping back to pass. He's looking around. He's going to find nobody but Cassius Marsh, who will end up tackling him. For the sack, a first and 10 on our own 35. Handing off to Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch running it up the middle. He will pick up a first down and the Seahawks are moving. With that being said, Wilson is going to drop back the pass. He will not He will not find the defender. Somehow, someway, James Laurinaitis did not pick that ball off. Jermaine Curtis was very lucky to receive that one. It's a second and five now. Running the play action. Wilson's going to roll out to his right but find nobody except the turf once more. Ayers was the one on the sack. Coming out, we're going to be running a halfback screen. Finding Turbin. Turbin is going to not get tackled. He's going to take the distance to 20 to 10 and into the end zone. And the Seahawks once more having another big play. Something they have been doing all too often today. It's been an amazing game for big plays on both sides of the field. This time, it was a beautiful reception. I believe a 46-yard touchdown from Robert Turbin as he just did not want to go down. The defender could not pull him to the ground, and the Seahawks will take a two-possession lead of their own. All of a sudden, this game has changed tremendously, but this is football. Todd Gurley is going to take it himself for a run. He will pick up the first down on their own 33 now, a second and nine. Foles trying to get us to jump off size. He's done it twice, once before in this game. Anyways, Todd Gurley is going to get it once more. He's going to take it all the way. The distance for a touchdown somehow, some way. Todd Gurley was able to just get off guys once more. And like I said before, it's an amazing accomplishment by both teams to be able to get off tackles, break off tackles, and go the distance as my team cannot tackle as it has been shown today as Wagner cannot pick it up Sherman Thomas tried to trip him up for some reason it didn't make him falter at all regardless I'm playing this on EA access so yeah Todd Gurley picking up his first career touchdown 
in his NFL career. Second and 11 now, play action. Averill is going to pick up the sack on Nick Foles. They are now on their own 22, third and 20. Foles is going to try and do something here on this possess- here on this down. Foles dropping back to pass. He throws it. It's almost intercepted, but it is going to be an incompletion, and the Seahawks will get the ball. On our own 37, 28 to 23. Wilson dropping back to pass. He's looking around. He will find Jimmy Graham, who will take it himself, who will pick up a good amount of yardage, a 13-yard gain, as Graham has been a huge part of this offense today. A first and 10 at the 50. Wilson drops back to pass. He's going to throw a bullet to Jimmy Graham, who will pick up the first down, and they pick up 23 yards. We move to their 27 now. An amazing drive. We are driving for sure. We're on their 27 now. Wilson, play action. Drop back to pass. He finds Jimmy Graham over the middle once more. He cannot get into the end zone, but he does pick up a good amount of yardage, 23 yards. And that will do it for the third quarter. So far, we are three quarters in. We are in the lead and having a great game so far. With that being said, a third and goal. Wilson dropping back to pass. He's looking around. He's going to take it himself into the end zone. And the Seahawks will once more score again. And with that being said, this game is starting to look like it is out of reach for the Rams. But do not count them out yet. They have been proven to come back from games. As you look at this replay, running is very different in this game with quarterbacks. It seems like they're they're it's weird you have to try it yourself anyways a third and six on their own 29 Foles dropping back to pass he's going to find Bailey who will get absolutely rock hard hit from Earl Thomas this time Bailey cannot hold on third and 13 on our own 31 a play action Wilson drops back to pass he's going to lob it over to Luke Wilson who will pick up a tremendous spectacular catch it's a pickup of 17 and keeps the drive alive Third and four, we're going to run another halfback screen. Can we have another good fortune? No, we will not. It's fumbled. Lemuel Jean PR, I believe, is something like his, his name is something like that. I've heard it a few times. It's Lemuel or Lemuel or Jean Pierre. It's it, it, it just depends who you are and how you say it. Regardless, the Rams are coming out now on a first and 10 on their own 47. Foles is getting ready to hike the ball. He drops back the pass. He's looking around. He's going to find nobody but Kerry Williams. And Kerry Williams will pick up his first interception as a Seattle Seahawk. And the Seahawks are rolling, that's for sure. And now we have the ball on our own 42. We are up 38 to 23. And we are just getting closer and closer to finishing this one out after we were down by two possessions, a huge comeback so far. A third and five, Wilson drops back to pass. He's going to find Jermaine Curse, who will pick up the first down, and we move to their 48. A second and five, we end up punting the ball away. Foles dropping back to pass. He's going to lob it into the air. Thomas is not going to come up with the interception. Bailey, once more, is going to not take it all the way, but another huge game by Bailey. And if I'm not mistaken... That's the second time Thomas has been burned in this game trying to get an interception. Anyways, Foles is coming out now. He's going to roll out to his right. He's going to throw it. It's going to be completed to quick, but hold on just one second. Did he go above the line? And yes, he did indeed, as it is a flag for intentional grounding. Fourth and 14, they're on R30. Foles drops back to pass. He's going to lob it into the air once more. Thomas is trying again, and he can't do so successfully. It's very different in this game to intercept the ball. It seems like the computer has intercepted it both times, I believe, and this one, if I'm not mistaken. A fourth and goal. They're on our nine. Foles drops back to pass. He's going to find Bailey. Bailey once more is coming up huge for the Rams, if I'm not mistaken. That is his second receiving. Yep, it is indeed. Second receiving touchdown of the game. They're not out of it yet is they have an ensuing point after attempt and an onside kick is coming up next. As we look at the replay here, Bailey just an amazing job. Great job of elevating himself to be able to catch that pass. Here comes the onside kick. Is it going to be ours? Is it going to be theirs? Men are just running around. What is going to happen? Baldwin is finally the one to pick it up and the Seahawks will have a couple kneel downs away and end up finishing this one. They come up with a huge win on the road for the first game of this season. The Seahawks will start this one 1-0, and the Rams will start this season out 0-1. A huge loss on their home turf. 
with that being said, the Seahawks are, you know, they looked great in the second half. In some areas, passing got better as the game went along. I hope you guys enjoyed this first video of the Seattle Seahawks franchise mode on Madden 16. If you did, please leave me a like, a comment, and possibly subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.